there is one practice called misrepresentation. I'm going to go over this as it pertains to your life insurance license exam and hopefully making sure that you write good business for your clients. But misrepresentation is essentially when you lie about uh, something on a policy or you, you, you give false, misleading, or deceptive information about a policy, its features, its benefits, things like that. An example, remember how we've talked about in this, if you haven't, if you don't know, we've talked about it before in other videos I have, but there are things called dividends, and dividends are earned through participating policies, uh, participating whole life policies with mutual insurance companies. Dividends are not guaranteed because technically it's a return of unused premium, and uh, companies pay dividends when their profits are higher than they expect and their expenses are lower than they expect. So it's not guaranteed, right? Because a company may have higher expenses one year, they may have less profits one year, so dividends are not guaranteed. So if you told someone that dividends are guaranteed, that's an example of a misrepresentation. Another example of a misrepresentation is showing someone an illustration or, or a graph or a diagram of a policy that is, say, a variable policy. So say it's invested in the stock market, and you're saying, hey, this fund is going to return eight is going to gain eight percent per year then you showing that on an illustration is a misrepresentation because it's not guaranteed by if you say it's guaranteed hey, this is what it's going to look like for you in 30 years with this account that's a misrepresentation it's illegal you can't tell people things are guaranteed when they're not um, you can't tell people that the policy has features that it doesn't you can't tell people that it doesn't have features that it does so you want to make sure that you disclose everything about the policy to your client so that you're not misrepresenting any facts thank you i hope this helps you you pass your life insurance pre-licensing exam on the first try check the links in the description of the video to learn about some study guides that i have you can also email me and you can learn about our agency where we provide free leads to all of our agents to work from home and sell over the phone. You're going to want to check out this next video coming up. This is going to help you learn about all the different types of life insurance you'll need to know about for your pre-licensing exam.